So, and what's probably one of my favorite Twitter beefs or um, just controversies in the MMA slash wrestling space in a while, Chael Sonnen and Jordan Burroughs have been going at it over how much Jordan Burroughs thinks he's worth. Uh, to start off, Jordan Burroughs did an interview on Monday with Ariel Helwani. Pretty much just, he, he was asked the question if he is ever considering MMA, and he said it's something that he, he just wants to do once, just to kind of see what he's made of, see how it goes. Uh, after that, Chael Sonnen offered to have Jordan Burroughs fight for him on Fight Pass for $50,000. To which Burroughs responded that $50,000 is way less than what he's worth. And since then, there's been a big argument um, between which Chael Sonnen and Cy, which is that actually, no, you're not worth that at all. Uh, and some people in the wrestling community, particularly Willie Saylor from Flow, who feels as though Jordan Burroughs is being slighted by that kind of offer and that he's worth way more. He should be paid way more. Uh, so before I kind of get into my take on it, I'll play a response that Chael Sonnen just had. And the whole video is fantastic. It's called Let's Break Down Jordan Burroughs' Worth. Um, it's on his YouTube channel. It's just called Chael Sonnen's YouTube channel, or it's called Chael Sonnen. Uh, I definitely encourage you to watch the whole thing. It's probably one of the best promos he's cut on everyone. It was, it was just brutal to, the, the way he pretty much referred to Jordan Bros as a charity case, but here is a, a snippet from that. So we have a distribution deal with Fight Pass. I publicly offered him $50,000 at a one-time fight on Fight Pass. Now, that was largely meant to just be nice. I happen to like wrestling. I happen to donate and give a lot of money to wrestling, to various universities and clubs and programs every single year. That's my business. But that's also what that $50,000 would represent. There would not be a return on that money. Jordan Burroughs is not nearly near worth that money. He responds publicly. I have been paid more to that to wrestle at a zero and call me now. There's a lot of problems. Yeah, and there's a lot more to it there, but the argument that Chael gets into from there is just saying that Jordan Bros is actually not worth that much, that he had talked to Michael Novogratz, who runs Beat the Streets, and was told that he paid Jordan Bros $50,000 for a previous one, and Burroughs only brought in an additional $10,000 in revenue, so therefore... And, and it was kind of mixed up, too, because when he was responding to this on his Ariel and the Bad Guy show, he claimed that it was an ROI of 10000 uh, I don't know if that was just kind of him editorializing it or if he was actually told that the ROI was 10000 because those two things mean completely different things. Um, in marketing, if you're going to say that you have an ROI of $10,000, that means that if I pay $50,000 that I got 60000 on the top, so then the ROI, the return on investment, I'm in, in return getting 10000 Whereas if the idea was that I only made 10000 in revenue back, the ROI would actually be negative $40,000. Uh, in, in the most recent video, it sounds as though what he meant to say was that the ROI was negative 40000 and not 10000 and that the idea was that Jordan Bros only brought in an additional $10,000 in revenue uh, despite being paid fifty thousand dollars to show, so he's making the claim that based off of that, that Jordan Bros isn't worth a whole lot um, in an MMA fight. Uh, I don't exactly know what Jordan Bros's worth is. I think it's kind of difficult to to tell, but I don't think that's necessarily a fair way to look at it. But just to kind of, kind of go off the tweets and address that, um, Chael responded to it earlier tweet from Lily Hill, and I'll click on that after I uh, talk about it on the screen right now. Uh, but he's just saying, "Great, book him and pay him, enjoy bankruptcy," which was a response to Lily Sailor pretty much just saying that he's worth way more than that. Um, and then Willie Saylor said Burr looked himself all the way to wrestling immort immortality in a future that doesn't have to include brain, brain damage and sideshows. He makes more annually than most MMA fighters. Get your facts straight. And as a former wrestler, praise it. Uh, my response was he said he wanted to have an MMA fight. Uh, Chael offered one. Burroughs rebutted by saying he's worth more than 50K. The argument now is whether or not he draws enough to be worth more. The points in this tweet are irrelevant. Uh, but then to go back here. Uh, Willie responded to Chael by saying, when the UFC is bringing back dope to the gills Brock Lesnar, when they're paying Ragdoll CM Punk, when Bellator is paying you to turtle up versus Fedor, don't come at Jordan Burroughs uh, for asking for more money in your sideshow fucking sport. It's WWE. Uh, so first off, dope to the gills Brock Lesnar. Again, I've mentioned this in previous videos, and I feel like I'm going to have to keep mentioning this, for, mentioning this forever because it seems like a lot of people are missing out on it. And sadly, Willie Saylor is one of them because I think he actually had a role in running Flo's um, pro, um, I think they were freestyle wrestling shows. Uh, back in the day before they ended up getting canceled. And I think a reason they got canceled is because they weren't making money. And if you're overpaying your athletes, that's one way to lose money and have to uh, have to go bankrupt. So kind of funny that it, this argument came to that. Uh, but for Willie not to understand that athlete pay isn't based off of like a lifetime achievement award or whatever, but just based off of what they're able to pull. Um, it seems kind of odd, but for Brock Lesnar, it seems as though he draws a major audience, especially a crossover audience for the WWE. So is he worth the money? Most likely. I think they're getting a return on that. CM Punk. Uh, in his first fight when he fought in Cleveland, I think that actually he, he was a pretty big pull for pay-per-view numbers. So he got paid 50000 But in terms of additional pay-per-views that they brought in, I think they actually made money off of the first fight. The second fight, the numbers, I don't think were as good. Um, I don't know if he was necessarily worth the money in that fight. But 
they definitely got a return off of him on the first fight. Um, paying him to turtle versus Fedor. I mean, that's just a stupid thing to say. Like, oh, you lost to Fedor Emelianenko. Ha, ha, ha. As if that's some kind of, like, major burn. It really isn't. And then he's just saying that he's just calling MMA a sideshow sport, which, again, Jordan Bros is the one who brought up MMA in the first place. So I'm not exactly sure where this is coming from. Uh, but it's funny how Chael's like, okay, good. Book him and pay him. Enjoy bankruptcy. I don't know if that was a reference to Phil Pro or if he was just saying, j- just, terming, just talking in general about how if you're paying based off of what you think a guy his lifetime which, or like 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 what he's value at for a sport as opposed to what he's able to pull in then you're gonna lose money yeah it doesn't look like there was a anything that was quoted before then um but as far as what jordan bros is actually worth this is actually where i think it gets a lot a lot more difficult to look at because you're not looking at a wrestling match or you're looking at an mma fight and in marketing here are a couple of things that tend to drive up value or tend to help with um help with sales one of them is something being unique and another thing is something being rare uh, so from the unique standpoint, Jordan Bros's wrestling skill is completely unique to MMA. Uh, we've seen some great wrestlers. We look at a guy like Ben Askren as a guy who's like this uniquely great wrestler. And I think after he has his match with Jordan Bros, and I expect Bros to win that match and win it handily, uh, it's going to drive him the point that people in the wrestling community already know, but people in, in the MMA community are soon to learn. And that's that even though Ben Askren is an extremely hell of a wrestler, there's levels above that, and Bros is at that level. So. As rare as it, as it is to watch an Olympic caliber wrestler like Askren, imagine seeing someone who's at an even higher level than that in Jordan Burroughs. So if you're going to see a Jordan Burroughs fight, you're going to see something that's incredibly unique in terms of his high-level wrestling. Uh, but then on top of that, he said he only wants to do one fight. So that means that if you're watching that one fight for Jordan Burroughs, you're, you're getting something rare. You're getting something that you're not going to have a chance to get again, if, assuming that he's telling the truth. So by having those two factors at play, and I think that after the Ben Askren match, this is going to be a much bigger factor. His worth definitely goes up, and what his value is for an MMA fight versus just another wrestling match, which is what Beat the Streets effectively is, I think he's worth a lot more. So if, if he's worth $10,000 for just another wrestling match at Beat the Streets, uh, imagining what he's worth for a one-time thing in MMA, I would assume he, I, I would imagine he's worth a lot more than that. So it's $50,000, that number. I, I don't know how you get to the specific number on this one, but I actually think $50,000 is actually somewhat fair. Uh, I don't know if putting on Fight Pass is necessarily going to be able to bring back a whole lot of money. They might a lot of the money they make back might actually be made at the gate. I don't know how many more people are going to be signing up for fight passes to catch the Jordan Burroughs fight. But either way, I, I think Burroughs is actually worth something here. He, he's worth more than he actually is in wrestling just for this one fight because it is so rare. It's just the one-time occasion. Uh, and I think people need to realize that. Chil Sonnen's kind of downplaying it because in, in his mind, he's sort of like making a charity offer. I, I think $50,000 is a fair offer. Um, might actually be a bit of a lowball offer based off what I said, but... Jordan Bros hasn't done anything to prove in the past that he's necessarily worth more than fifty thousand dollars for a one-time athletic uh, athletic uh, event, but you never know. I, I, I'd be interested to see how this goes, but I'd really be interested to see how this talk heats up after the Ben Askren match because if Burroughs wins that match dominantly, which he should be, which he should be able to, and again, these guys have actually wrestled in the room together. I think Burroughs and Askren were going to get or uh, were training together about a year ago, and when Askren got back on his podcast afterwards, he was talking about how Burroughs was so good, how he was just levels above him, and he just found it to be like this this amazing experience to learn from some, learn from someone so good and have someone who's got um, not only great athleticism, but also a great mind for the sport. So uh, assuming that this match goes as, as a training session went and Burroughs just dominates and people, people realize, Hey, we thought Ben Askren was this elite wrestler. And here's this guy who's just another level ahead of him. Uh, I think people are going to be more interested to see that one time that he fights. So he, he will bring back some value for, for whoever ends up being the promoter for that match. Is he going to be worth five hundred thousand dollars I highly doubt that, but, $50,000 doesn't actually seem like that massive of an overpay if it is one at all. Uh, 